Welcome! In this tutorial, we will take a look at installing SourceTree, which is a GitHub client. So go ahead and start by downloading SourceTree. Some of the benefits of SourceTree is it's very comprehensive, it's relatively simple to use, and I really like the graphical features of this tree where it actually shows you merges and branches and everything. Makes it very easy to tell which branches started where and who contributed to them. Makes it much easier to figure out where things might have gone wrong when bad things happen. So go ahead and download that. When you start to install that, you'll see a setup like this. Go ahead and read through their licensing agreement, which I have already done, so I will agree to that. You need to set up your own Atlassian account. These are free, so go ahead and configure one yourself. I already have an existing account. I've linked it to my Google account. So I'm just going to use that. If this launches off to some weird website, just ignore that and come back to the installation. Here my registration is complete. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at connecting to GitHub, but there are other options. In this case, SourceTree also works with Bitbucket. Bitbucket is another free Git repository. The host URL will automatically get filled in, so don't worry about that. Authentication will also already be filled in, so don't worry about that. Just continue with the defaults. So here it's popping over to some random website. Don't worry about that. We'll go back to that later. Configure automatic line ending handling. Now this is really important because Git is a Unix tool. While most of you will be doing development in C Sharp and Unity on a Windows machine, Windows and Unix have different line endings. So this is a good thing to go ahead and select so that the line endings will automatically be normalized every time you either merge to the repository or pull from the repository. So go ahead and make sure that's selected, should be by default. It's already linked me to the various repos that I'm already a member of on GitHub. All right, so my GitHub username was actually the same as my email or was linked to my email. I'm already a member of a bunch of these repositories. So here I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the new repository that I created. Not very exciting. Here you can see that it's trying to put it into that location. That is not where I wanna put it, so you can configure that. I put everything on my E drive and then continue. This will automatically configure your GitHub repo to connect to your local drive, which is exactly what we eventually need anyway, so that makes it simple. I'll also go through setting up the same thing through SourceTree if it's not your first repository. So when SourceTree opens up, I'm just gonna give this little message, improve tabs, yay, exciting. All right, so here we have our initial repository tutorial. It's not very exciting. Let's go ahead and look at the master branch. You can see that this is our initial commit that was already committed for us by GitHub, the gitignore file and the readme file. You can see also that I was the author of these files. I am also the author of this single commit over here. You can see the author so you can tell who committed what when, and that's really a convenient feature. You can see here the date, the description that I would have typed in had I been manually committing this, but GitHub put that in there already. And you can see here the name of the branch. All right, so master is the primary branch. This is going to be your official branch. Now this is a local copy of the master branch. Origin slash master is the remote copy of that same branch. These may or may not be synchronized depending upon what's happening in the process of committing files. Origin head is gonna be where my branch currently is, the current branch that I'm working on. And right now, since I'm on the master branch, they all sort of are in sync. So at this point, you can see that our repo has just the two files that we already committed to GitHub, which was over here. You can see the git ignore and the readme. All right, so now my local version and the remote repository are synced up. So that's all we had to do to set this up initially. All right, so now we'll take a look at adding a Unity project and stuff like that. 